The Screaming Mummy, a mystery from the past. Hi Science Stellers! Welcome to Science Deli, where we tell you amazing stories about science and history. Today, we are going to talk about a mystery that no one knows the answer to, the screaming mummy. You have probably seen pictures of mummies with their mouths open, as if they were screaming in fear or pain. But did you know that most of these mummies are not really screaming? They are just opening their mouths to let their spirits breathe, eat, and drink after they die. This was part of a thing that priests did to make sure the dead were happy. But there is one mummy that is different from the others. A mummy that looks like it was screaming in pain when it died. A mummy that has no name, no tomb, and no reason. A mummy that has made people wonder for more than a hundred years. This is the story of Unknown Man E, the Screaming Mummy. Unknown Man E was found in 1886, in a secret room of the royal tomb of Amenhotep II, with other mummies of kings and nobles. But unlike the other mummies, which were wrapped nicely and had jewels and charms, Unknown Man E was wrapped in a simple cloth, with a dark thing on it. His face was twisted in pain, his mouth open, his eyes big. He looked like he had a terrible death. Who was this man, and how did he die? There are many guesses, but none are sure. Some think he was poisoned, or buried alive, or choked by resin. Others think he was a prince from another land, who was killed by the Egyptians after a bad deal. But the most interesting guess is that he was Prince Pentawar, the son of Pharaoh Ramses III, who was killed for trying to kill his father. According to old writings, in 1155 BC, a plan was made by one of Ramses III's wives, Queen Taya, and her son, Pentawar, to kill the king and take the throne. The plan was found out, and the plotters were caught and tried. We don't know what happened to most of them, but some writings say that Pentawar had to kill himself, or was killed by someone else. Could unknown man E. B. Pentawar, the bad prince? Some things point to this. For example, unknown man E. was wrapped in a sheepskin, which was not clean for the ancient Egyptians, and a sign of shame. He also had no marks on his grave, which meant he could not go to the afterlife, the worst thing for an Egyptian. And his mummy was very bad, as he was not dried, his brain was not taken out, and resin was put in his mouth instead of his head. But this guess is not sure, as there is no proof to link unknown man E to Pentawar. Without testing his DNA, we may never know for sure who he was, or how he died. He is still a mystery, a quiet witness to a dark and violent time of ancient history. A mystery that, for some reason, no one has made a movie about. Thank you for watching Science Deli, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing stories about science and history. And if you have any questions or ideas, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, science tellers, stay curious and keep exploring.